Well, Josh, welcome to Birmingham City. How do you feel about signing this contract? Yeah, I'm delighted. I've been here for um, probably about 10 days now. Um, luckily enough, they give me a chance to come in on trial and express myself, which I've done. So I'm delighted to finally, finally sign today. And you've played 323 games um, and you've been training consistently with Pep Letet's first team squad. Did you always feel you might get offered something or, or, or weren't you sure? How, did you get a vibe or anything like that? Well, of course, I think you've got to believe in yourself wherever you go. So, of course, I had um, it in my mind that they would offer me something. Um, I've been playing in the 23s game to get as fit as, I po as possible. So I'm ready um, whenever the, the manager needs me, really. But, um, yeah, of course, I wanted to believe that he was going to offer me something. And how did you feel when you were playing for the 23s? It, it, is it difficult being sort of thrown straight into it like that? Not really, no. Um, I think 23 has got a, a great squad and uh, the coaching staff there are really good. Helped me straight away, so I think I went in there um, quite easily. Um, obviously, I think I do need a few more games in the 23s to get my um, uh, match fitness right. I haven't had a proper pre-season yet. I have been training at a few different clubs, um, so but I'm just looking forward to, to the opportunity now. Mm. I was going to ask that, fitness-wise, sharpness-wise, where, where do you think you're at at the moment? What stage are you at? Um, I'm not ready to play um, 90 minutes yet in the first team. I definitely, as I said before, need a few games in the 23. So I'm probably about a week, two weeks away um, from match fitness mm -hmm. and obviously my sharpness back. And coming in on trial for someone so experienced, was it an odd feeling like... You had to prove yourself all over again. Yeah, of course it was. I've never, I've never really been in this situation um, in my career, so it was a bit strange coming in and um, being like a known as like the trialist <laughs> kind of thing. It was strange, but yeah, as I said before, I'm, I'm glad with the opportunity that um, Dong has given me and the manager. So uh, yeah, I'm happy with it. And how did the, the link come about? How how did you get to be invited down initially? Um, it came through um, Harley. Obviously, I was with him at Brentford and I speak to Harley on a regular basis. And he knew that I was out of contract, so he asked the question here and um, put my name forward kind of thing. And Dong, that thing, this was all like on a Tuesday. And on a Thursday, he said, yes, tell him to come in on a Thursday morning. We'll have a good look at him. And this is where I am now. Mm. Obviously, you know Harley very well, Harley Dean, our captain. Um, what's he said to you about the club and, and the players and the environment? No, he speaks very, very highly of it. Obviously, Birmingham is a massive club. They was in the um, Premier League for a long, long time. So um, he speaks highly. The, ambition, uh, the ambitions of the club are obviously to get back in the top flight football. And I think with the squad, the coaches, the scarf, everyone around, um, that's our aim. Mm -hmm. And could you just go through for us what happened at Brentford? Because to most ob observers, it was quite a surprise you became available at the season's end, you know, especially after four years there. Yeah, uh, yeah. Obviously, I signed four years ago, and it was a um, uh, stop, start, stop, start due to injuries and stuff like that. Different managers coming in and out, um, but they did actually offer me a contract in January that I turned down uh, for whatever reason. So since January, um, I wasn't really in the squads. So I was training on my own, training with the first team, but not doing much. Um, so yeah, but I wish Brentford all the best. Uh, it was four four good seasons I had there, made some good friends. So I wish them all the best for the future. Yeah. And obviously you've had plenty of tangles against Blues in your career. Um, and your only professional goal to date is against us, isn't it? Yeah. Have you had a little chat with Ecamp yet? No, not yet. <laughs> uh, but I think I will. I think he, he could have done a lot better on that. <laughs> Can't be getting done at the near post. But no, I'm, no, I'm only joking. Um, yeah, that was my first goal. And unfortunately it was against you. <laughs> yeah. And what do you make of the squad here and what Pep Clotet, the club, are trying to do? No, it's good. I've, as, as I said before, I've only been here for 10 days, so I'm still I'm still new. I'm still learning every day in training, like the style, the philosophy he, he wants to implement on the team. Um, but it's all looks very positive at the moment. Um, I think we've got 13, 14 points so far. I think that's probably about eight or nine more points than you had this time last season. So... The club is heading in the right direction and I'm happy to be on board. Mm -hmm. And what do you think you can bring specifically? Are you perhaps a different type of player, a different style of player that we, we may, may be stocked with here? Yeah, definitely. I think our, um, my main attributes are vision, passing, um, getting the ball um, off the defence and breaking lines and starting the attacks really. So that's what I would um, like to, to bring forward. Mm -hmm. 
and you're a good age, aren't you? You've got many years ahead of you, and and to get a player with your background and experience and ability on a free, it's, it's not bad. No, exactly. <laughs> Obviously, um, I was surprised that I was in this uh, position, considering I was on a free transfer, and I am. I'm not old. I'm 26, so I've still got plenty of years left in me. So. I've said it many times, but I'm just pleased and happy that I'm here now and all signed and I'm looking forward to the season. And in general, what, what do you make of the championship and, and where us, ourselves, Birmingham City, could stack up in the, in the shake-up? Yeah, um, it's a relentless season, as everyone knows. Most weeks is Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday. But I think it's as wide open as, as it's ever been, so there's no reason why we can't push up for um, to the playoffs. That's what we're looking for. So hopefully we're all in this together and we can go for it. Josh, thank you very much for talking to us here on Blues TV and welcome aboard. Thank you.